When we look up into the night sky, we all admire the beautiful and mysterious space in which the stars in our galaxy shine for us. It's kind of hard to imagine that one day, everything we see out there will come to an end. Our solar system and even the entire Milky Way galaxy will change forever. Because at this very moment, another galaxy is hurtling towards us, Andromeda. That sounds terrifying, but recently something else very startling was discovered. The collision of these two galaxies will happen much sooner than we thought. What will happen when Andromeda collides with the Milky Way? And will humanity survive? Collisions of galaxies do not happen often, but when it does happen, the process plays an important role in the evolution of the universe. When galaxies collide, rotating stars meet each other and their motion slows. The glow from the collision will be of such intensity that even billions of years later, astronomers millions of light years away will see echoes of this event in the sky. In a collision of galaxies, there are two scenarios for the development of events. The first is the most common. It happens when galaxies are moving towards each other at a very slow speed. The process of their collision takes millions of years. The collision will not necessarily be head-on, but instead a merger, and galaxies may pass at a close range or just slightly touch each other. But even from such insignificant contact, both galaxies will be deformed. With such a contact, energy is released and mass is moved, many times exceeding any numbers that our imagination can picture. When galaxies come into contact, tidal forces arise. They stretch the circumference of galaxies in length and bend them. They also set in motion clouds of gas and dust. These clouds thicken over time, and as a result, new planets and stars are formed. Therefore, when galaxies merge, they do not destroy themselves. How do we know all this? As it was already mentioned, galaxies have already collided repeatedly in the universe. And one of these collisions can be seen right now. The European Southern Observatory was able to record the collision of two galaxies in the constellation Aquarius, 89 million light years from the Milky Way. According to astrophysicists, the collision has been going on for 40 million years. Judging by the stellar streams in the peripheral regions, the result of this collision will be a complete merging of galaxies. That's why terrestrial telescopes will not see a huge fire show with a collision of planets in distant space. Therefore, it does not threaten anything on Earth. After all, even in the case of a more explosive collision of galaxies, we're too far away. But there are, of course, other cases. If at a speed of approach of 200 kilometers per second, the galaxies most often merge, and at 600, they pass through each other, then, at speeds above 1,000 kilometers, the consequences will be fatal. There will no longer be any tidal forces or new cloud formations. A collision of stars will occur, a chain reaction will be triggered, and galaxies will be torn to shreds. The scale of such a disaster is simply unimaginable. Humanity has never seen such pictures close up. However, we will one day become a part of such an event the moment the Andromeda Galaxy collides with our home galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy is heading towards us at an insane speed of 120 kilometers per second. It's not known if this speed will change in the future. Both galaxies are roughly the same size. This means that the result of the collision is unpredictable, but scientists still have time to guess what it will be like. Previously, it was assumed that the collision would occur in 5 billion years. However, according to the latest computer visualizations, the deadline has changed. Scientists are now confident that the collision will occur in a maximum of 4 billion years. It'll take that long for the galaxies to go through a full collision cycle and arrive at its conclusion. After 3 billion years, the light of the Andromeda galaxy can be seen from Earth with a naked eye. And after 4, the solar system will already be the neighbor of Andromeda. Moreover, it's not a fact that the merger of galaxies will not happen earlier. But what exactly will happen when galaxies collide? Scientists speak of two options. The first is the merging of the two systems. This scenario was modeled by American theoretical astrophysicists Avi Liob and Thomas Cox. If the collision occurs in 4 billion years, then the process of merging will happen in 10. 
both galaxies will approach each other and their mutual attraction will begin to pull them into an oblong shape. After that, the galaxies will pass through each other, but then the mutual attraction will again pull them back. This is how a new elliptic supergalaxy will appear. This galaxy has already been given a name, Milkomeda. But what happens to the planets and stars when they merge? If everything happens according to the first scenario, then no explosions of stars will happen. The merging speed will be too slow, and the distance between the stars will be enormous. For example, the closest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri, is 4.22 light-years from Earth. This is 277,000 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. With such a huge distance between objects, the likelihood of a direct collision is extremely small. Of course, isolated cases may occur, but they're unlikely to affect our solar system. Nevertheless, the explosions are unavoidable. After the merging of galaxies, new stars will begin to appear, white and blue giants. These giant stars have a relatively short lifespan because their fuel reserves are rapidly running out. And when they're gone, these stars will explode. This process could be fatal for the galaxy because the explosions of stars will push interstellar gas out of it. It is the building block for the emergence of new stars that are the galaxy's fuel. Therefore, left without material for the formation of new stars, the galaxy will be doomed. But this is not important. After all, according to the calculations of the International Centre for Radio Astronomy Research in Western Australia, the newly formed galaxy will be doomed anyway. As you know, in the very centre of our Milky Way, there is a supermassive black hole. It's four million times more massive than our Sun. There's a similar black hole in the centre of the Andromeda Galaxy. These are two frightening and unexplored objects that have powers beyond the scope of the human mind. And when the merging of two galaxies occurs, the collision of black holes will be inevitable. First, they'll spiral in the interior of the newly formed galaxy, and then after 16 billion years, they will merge. As a result of the joining of two objects with such a gigantic mass, there'll be an emission of gravitational radiation of incredible scale. The excitation of the space-time moving at the speed of light. The galaxy's gas will heat up to trillions of degrees, and the substance will burn out very quickly. And, left without it, the galaxy will go out, transformed into lifeless darkness, enveloping black holes merged together. The Earth, of course, will die along with the entire galaxy. However, according to astrophysicists from the Russian Academy of Sciences, there is another option. Perhaps the collision of galaxies will provoke an alternative scenario. The force of gravity will work against our solar system, will feel an extraordinary acceleration, and then our system will literally be thrown out from outside the Milky Way galaxy. We will fly in an unknown direction, We'll move at an unknown speed through the chaos of stars. The beautiful starry sky above our head will gradually fade away, and it'll be replaced by cosmic darkness. However, there will be a chance that even with this scenario, our system will survive. After all, the Sun's magnetosphere will protect it from intergalactic radiation. But will it save the inhabitants of the Earth? Speaking of which, we completely forgot. What will happen to humans because of the collision of two galaxies? According to astrophysicists, the fate of humanity in this story is extremely pessimistic. And it's not only due to the very fact of the collision. If the collision occurs in 4 billion years, as scientists expect, then this will not be the main cause for concern among Earthlings. After all, the main headache at the moment for us will be our Sun. In about 1 to 2 billion years, the Sun will become so hot and large that all the water from our planet will evaporate. Well, perhaps at that time, humanity will already figure out how to live on the planet without using water. But the problems don't end there. In another billion years, the Earth's surface will become so hot that metals will melt on it. And if at that time there are still living people on the planet, they'll obviously have a hard time. But any other form of life that survives all these events on Earth will be able to observe the collision of galaxies. In any case, the Sun will sooner or later put an end to the abuse of the Earth. The transformation of the Sun into a red giant is irreversible. When the Sun turns 12 billion years old, most of the Earth will be lost into space, and all that remains will turn into a lava ocean. The Sun will swallow Mercury and Venus, becoming larger and larger. The Moon will also grow, 
but only for the Earth's tidal influence to rip it apart and turn it into the planet's ring system. And even if the Earth is not absorbed by the Sun, it'll turn into a dead, flaming planet, surrounded by a ring of space debris under the flaming gaze of the red giant inside a new supergalaxy. And our planet Earth will never again be a blue oasis in a dark, lifeless space. Its appearance will change forever, and nothing will remind you that there was once life here. Therefore, regardless of whether the Andromeda and the Milky Way galaxies will collide once or simply pass by each other, nothing will really change for humanity. By the time of the collision, we will have to leave our home planet and get as far away as possible. Farther from the moment when the solar system will be thrown out of the galaxy, when the sun turns into a red giant and destroys our planet, and when two supermassive black holes of two galaxies merge together. But fortunately, all this will not happen very soon. Therefore, we still have time to admire the beautiful starry sky and watch how new space missions are sent into it, bringing closer the moment of the great emigration of mankind from Earth. We hope you enjoyed the video, and be sure to stay tuned here for more exciting things happening in our universe. Thanks for watching.